Hey everybody, it's Nathaniel with Lead Into Gold, and I was feeling inspired to take some time today to talk about a Mars square Saturn aspect of energy, since that is something we have going on in the collective right now, and it's going to hold and be with us for the rest of the year. So, what is it all about? With Mars square Saturn, we have two different energetic archetypes, Mars and Saturn, in a square aspect. Mars is an archetypal energy that is related to our passion, our desire, our forward thrust, our initiation, taking action, beginning things, all of that kind of getting involved and personally moving forward. Saturn is an energy that is all about kind of slowing down, making something more solid, more concrete, more fortified, um, ambition, discipline, goals, accomplishment, attainment, all of those types of things. A square aspect is one in which the planets are 90 degrees away, and this time it's Mars in its home sign of Aries talking to Saturn in its home sign of Capricorn. So when they are square, um, there, it's kind of a, a tense aspect that is stimulating and catalyzing change. They're both wanting it their way, but they're knocking into one another. So the way that this kind of looks is that if we start with Mars, you may have some sort of passion, desire, you're taking action, you're moving forward, you're doing things just because it's what you desire to do, um, and from that it stimulates some sort of goal that we have, something we want to get serious about, something we want to accomplish, achieve, attain, all of these Saturn things get stimulated from our desire, our passion, and our action. Um, however, if we continue to take action, and I just, oh my gosh, the passion's so fiery, and taking action, and driving forward, and going, and going, the more that it does that, after it stimulates Saturn, Saturn is going to resist. It's going to kind of be, create this kind of wall, where it's like, no, nothing can go forward here, and it's kind of, it's this solid wall that's kind of in the way, saying, no, hold on, wait, you need to do this or the other. So it becomes kind of a block while we keep firing ahead with that Mars energy. If we flip the script, let's say we start on Saturn side where we have this goal, we are very ambitious about we want to achieve and, and, and build this monument that's a testament to our mastery of something and we want to structure the way for it to be successful and we've got all of these structuring discipline components. Well, that plan and that goal and that structure and all of these Saturn components will stimulate our Mars desire. So from that goal and from the, the long-term aim, it's going to motivate us into desire and taking action and moving forward and, and going, that going energy of Mars. However, if once that plan and that solidification and, and structuring and that concreteness stimulates the Mars and we continue to go, like, well, let's plan more. You know, it stimulated our excitement and our passion and our desire. But no, let's hold on. Let's, let's get this plan really nailed down. And let's keep working with the structure and the steps. And let's keep doing all the Saturn contracting. That is going to piss off Mars. It fires it up. It's angry. It's wanting to take action. And, and Saturn is continuing in this, in that scenario to say, no, hold on, structure, structure. And that's like Mars is like frustrated because it wants to move forward. So in a square aspect, when there's two energies, in this case, Mars and Saturn, if we are starting with one energy and it stimulates the other, but we continue to act through the first one, the other one becomes a force of resistance. If Saturn's resisting, it kind of becomes closed, tight, no. If Mars is resisting, it becomes very uh, confrontational, angry, fighting. So if one energy stimulates the other, the remedy is to give the other energy a turn. So instead of sitting there in this frustrated where there's a wall that we can't block or we want to take action and we can't, once one energy has motivated the other one into action, start working with the second energy. So for example, if Mars, we have a desire and a passion and we're taking action and it stimulates a plan, something we want to get serious about, something we want to structure, contract, all of that kind of stuff, then start to do that. Work with the plan, kind of get your solid steps, have a schedule and, and different things you want to accomplish at different deadlines. Start doing the Saturn structuring until that energy kind of feels complete before returning back to Mars and taking action. If you keep taking action after the plan's been stimulated, it's kind of going to, you know, it's, it's resisting. On the other end, what if we are starting or we're in a process where we're working with Saturn and we have the structure and we have the goals and the steps and all of the things about how we're going to achieve our, our whatever, 
um, then once that has stimulated our desire, where we feel alive, we want to take action, instead of kind of sitting there and like, no, hold on, we need to make this more solid. It needs to be more impenetrable. It needs to be, you know, a fail-proof discipline plan. Instead of keeping there and locking in, locking and tightening, once we've stimulated the Martian desire and passion, go with it. Take action. Fire away. See where the, the next line of action takes you. Your, your active energy needs to fly. And once you follow that through, once it kind of completes, then it goes back to to Saturn and structuring. So again, both of these energies have to have their due. It's kind of like that thing that's knocking back and forth. So one energy catalyzes the other one into activity, and then it catalyzes and it's back and forth. So there's a tension where they both... They both want to do their thing, but it starts the other one doing its thing, and then it needs a turn to do it. If we start and we knock into it, and we don't let the other one have its turn, it's frustrated, it's blocked, it's a wall, it won't go through. So that's what we see a lot when the Mars square Saturn is, um, is happening, when people are not expressing it in its highest uh, state. Um, people get angry, they get frustrated, they get cruel, they get... Um, all of those things that are pent up, frustrated, angry, um, all of those types of things go on. Um, at its best, when we're using Mars to stimulate the structuring of Saturn and we're using the goals and the discipline of Saturn to uh, focus our activity and add passion and desire, then they are really stimulating big change. It is a relentless energy that is extremely disciplined and fortified and all of that for great things. But it has a lot of potential to um, get frustrating if we're not allowing both to have their turn. So hopefully this has helped to explain the phenomenon in a way that will be of assistance to um, some people as we ride out this wave. So hope that you've enjoyed. Have a great day.